Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create shortened URLs using tinyurl.com. So I'm going to open up my web browser, I'm going to go to Google and type in tinyurl and I'm going to go to this website called tinyurl.com. When I click on there, this website is going to ask me for two things. Well, one main thing is going to ask me for a URL that I want to make short, shorter. So in this example, I'll go to my website, or you can go to any website, whatever you need to go to, and we'll click on one of these blog posts, something with a, a long sort of URL. So let's take this one, for example, how to change colors in an image using GIMP color rotate tool. So here you can see it uses this title as a part of the URL here. You can see that right here. So I'm going to select this URL and copy it. Let's just highlight that, right click and copy. And I'll come back to this website here and I'm going to paste it into here. So that will be the URL that I want to shorten. Now, you can just go ahead and shorten it, or you can you can use this second option here. It's optional, and you can create your own little custom URL. So if we were to look at the title here, how to change colors in an image using GIMP color rotate tool, we could take this part, GIMP color rotate tool, just this end part, come over to here and paste it in here paste and then with these with this text we need to separate it with a dash hyphen like this now we can create make tiny URL so let's go ahead and do that and then in here you'll see this is the main this is the original URL which had 93 characters and then the tiny URL has 43 characters here. So now we can use this in a blog post, for example. We could copy this text here, or you can just copy to clipboard here, either one. Let's just right click and copy, or you can click this link here, and that will copy the URL. And you can go over to something like Twitter, and we can make a tweet, and we can say something like, why not check out my So I could write a little bit of text here. I could put an image in if I wanted to. In this case, because I'm just showing this as an example, I won't do that. But we could put hashtags in here like GIMP tutorial. And then we could post this. And then when we refresh, we'll see that tweet. We can see the tweet here and it's got the, the shortened URL here. And when we click that link, it will redirect to our blog post. So the other option was to copy this link. We'll go back to the home page here and paste it here. And when we paste it here, if we don't put that option in there and we click make tiny URL, it will make the URL, but it will just have random letters and numbers afterwards. So it's not really readable. So I prefer the first option where you can actually read, you can actually customize the end part of the URL and make it specifically what you want. But the whole objective is to make it a shortened URL. So you don't really want a long, I guess you can if you want, but the whole idea is to make it a smaller URL. So it's easy to cut and paste. You can send it in text messages. You can send it on WhatsApp. You can post it on your blog or on your, on your Twitter account or your Facebook. You can share it in a YouTube description and so forth. So it's just a smaller version of that URL. So when anyone clicks on this link, if we click uh, open a new window, it will go to there and then redirect to the blog post as well. So that's how you use tiny URL. It's very simple um, to make shortened URLs. And that's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.